The first stop of the two-week journey is at Nankuse, an hour's drive from Namibia's capital, Windhoek. Once the artists settle down, their subject gracefully walks up to them. When you're sketching, you're, you're collecting a moment of time. You're sitting in an environment and you're, you become part of that habitat and the animals will often walk in to your, into the scene. Um, and that's a phenomenal feeling, rather than feeling as if you're chasing things. Lucky for these artists, the cheetah is tamed, so they can afford to get really close. The main aim that we have here at Naankuse is bringing animals that create problems on farms here. This is a way of solving farmer-animal conflicts. That is why Naankuse was built here as a safe haven for animals in danger of farmer-wildlife conflict. Members of the public are allowed to see the cheetahs, and that includes artists who have a great opportunity to get very close to the animals. Marianne Bartlett has organized 150 safari art trips since 1999. Participants say they have more time to appreciate the beauty of the animals they draw or paint. About 10 years ago, I'd been doing lots of overlanding uh, and going with all these safaris and they gave you less and less time to stop. It was almost like a race to get the photograph. And uh, I came across Marianne in one of the shows, just stood there painting, and it's one of these cases I'd never painted since school, so it's like 20, 30 years <laughs> without with ever, never painting. And I thought, it's interesting. Sometimes I suggest starting with just the backbone or a dominant line, or you might start with the eyes, ears and nose and build out from there. When the artists visit Okapuka, they're not as free with the animals, but that doesn't mean their subjects didn't give a show. I read somewhere, I was told that when you sit and paint or draw an animal, you actually have the opportunity to look into its soul. And I think having just sat for probably 20 minutes, half an hour, and drawn a rhino several times, I think this is very true, and I'm sure it applies to all animals. The conventional safaris, people tend to come in, find what they want to photograph, take a photograph, watch it for a little while and move on. But when you're actually sitting there and sketching it, you tend to have to get in much more deeply to what's going on, to look at what the animal's doing, for example, to work out a little bit more about its motivation, and you become much more part of the environment rather than just touching on it and moving on. Namibia is one of 27 countries globally that offer safaris specifically for the creation of art. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.